Hey, this is Mobile Monday. Hey, thanks for coming back for another Mobile Monday. This week, I wanted to talk about a little bit of hardware because I want to get into talking about some of the other mobile hardware that's available that we can use these days, like this microphone I've been using for a few weeks, the USB-C Fox by Bayer Dynamic, uh, amongst many other pieces of hardware that can really help you get the most out of your iPad in professional situations. Now, I've talked before about using adapters like this one here that will help you simply get analog audio in and out of your iPad. And these are a lifesaver. You got to have one of these. This gets audio out uh, in a stereo manner so you can use it for playback or for a tone generator, signal generator, things like that, but also lets you get a single line of analog audio in uh, for using with things like an RTA and letting you solo things. And that's just super handy for connecting up to a mixing board, things of that nature. But to get the most out of your iPad, it's long since been an issue for photographers and other folks that want to use them in mobile situations. Say you go on vacation and you take a ton of photos and you want to take your SD card and download them onto your iPad quickly for editing or just to back them up. This here has been the piece of hardware that we've had to use. And this is the USB, the lightning camera adapter, I think is what Apple calls it. And it's simply just a lightning to USB-A with a lightning pass through. And this lets you connect all sorts of stuff. This opens up a whole world for us because so many audio devices nowadays are uh, absolutely iOS compliant. Right now I'm just using GarageBand uh, to record this, but there's tons of programs out there, multi-track programs even, and you can go all the way from something, here I'll turn it around one more time. So this is the USB Fox microphone, and you can see it has, it's basically a little interface and a microphone all in one. I've got my headphone output, I've got volume, and I've got the blend between the microphone and the playback from the device to my headphones, and it comes... Oh. And it comes with a little integrated uh, pop filter. And I can do a decent voiceover with a piece of hardware that I can carry in my backpack. It's very handy. But if you want to get even more out of your iPad and use some of the more expensive apps that you want to actually do a multi-track session, or you wanted to use some of the more expensive dual channel uh, RTA and analyzing software packages, you need a way to get two channels in and you're going to want a way to route audio out. And there's so many options now. The one that I like to use is this Mark of the Unicorn Ultralight Mark four that I've talked about before. This is a great companion to an iPad for all sorts of different things, whether it's playback or recording or uh, any number of other situations where you just need to route audio in and out. So this is the Mark of the Unicorn Ultralight Mark IV connected up directly through the camera kit. And you can hear, I'm just using an Audio-Technica shotgun mic, but you can hear now that this is working and that expands the iPad's I.O. to a pair of really nice mic pre's, uh, really good headphone out, along with all of the other uh, analog and digital I.O. on the backside here. So that really makes for a powerful way to connect and get audio in and out of almost any app you want to use. And this works uh, just as well for multi-track recording as it does with something like the Bear Dynamic Fox mic for like a really high quality Skype chat. So it's very, very helpful and definitely gets you the most bang for your buck out of some hardware you may already own. Your current uh, audio interface, for instance, may already be iOS compliant. Many have been for a number of years now. Another great feature about this adapter is you can add something like a USB hub, and that allows you to expand your storage and to transfer files back and forth easily between external hard drives. And if you really wanna have some fun, get one of these style USB hubs. This is a USB 3. Uh, it's got three USB 3s here, but it also has an RJ45 down here. And this allows me to connect the iPad up to a hardwired network connection. Uh, it might be a situation where you're in front of house, you already have the data connection run out to front of house for monitoring other other things on the network, uh, control network typically, and an app that works really well that you might want hardwired is something like the Shure Channels app. Uh, you you want to use the app because it's really convenient to monitor all your wireless, but you don't necessarily need to be walking around or relying on Wi-Fi for that. And with this, it'll allow you to run your iPad on a hardwired network. So maybe you want to mix from an iPad for convenience sake, but you don't want to rely on that Wi-Fi. You can run a single Cat5 out to front of house instead of your whole snake and have your 
your iPad there running on a hardwired connection with all sorts of extra storage, power, uh, interfaces for getting audio in and out, and it's a really, really powerful way of going about it. So that's it, that's the camera connector. It's basically just USB-A on a lightning with a pass-through, and it's a really, really good adapter to have in your kit. I would highly, highly recommend picking one of these up. You will find all sorts of cool uses for it in your day-to-day -day work. So that's all for now. Let me know if you've got any questions down below. I will link all of this stuff down below in the description and also over on the website, dcsoundop.com. Thanks to everybody who supports the channel. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back soon with another video and I can't wait to share it with you this week.